Now students, you can see we are here with the third kind of the verb depending upon its function that is have verb which shows position. And not only position, these verbs are used to show events and experiences as well. Now before explaining these uh, position, events and experience, let us discuss the words which are used in the have verb, under the have verb. And there are only three words that are used basically in the have verb that are has, have and have. Okay. In which has is used in the present tense. Has is also used in the present tense but there is a difference between the use because has is used in the third person singular subject like he has, she has, it has. Whereas has is used with first, second and third person plural form like I have, we have, you have and they have. Clear? So both are used, has and have both are used in the uh, present tense only but it differentiates and bifurcates according to the person whether it is uh, first person, second person, third person or, or whether it is singular or plural. Now coming to the third one that is has. It is being used in the past tense and it is very easy to keep in mind that whether the subject is in first person, second person, third person, whether the subject is plural or singular, in all the cases in the past tense, had is being used. Like I had, we had, you had, she had, he had, and it had, and they had. In all the past form, had is being used. Now you will be thinking about what about the future tense. Now in the future tense again there is no separate word but in the future tense what just be add will or shall with has. Now we do see like I will have, you will have, she will have, he will have, they will have, it will have. Okay, so just we will add will with this have and make it in the future tense. So there are basic three words which are used in the have verb. Now let us understand uh, the uses of how to uh, find out whether it is being used in as a position or event or experience giving some examples. Now students you can see I have written few examples here to make it clear that how the have of soul position or event or experiences. Now in the first two sentences as you can see I have written this is the example of possession. Here first one is do you have a car? What tumhare paas car hai? Means do you possess a car? Second one is they have two dogs. Unke paas do kutte hai. Now in both the sentences whether it is in the interrogative form or in the assertive form of sentence both are showing that something is in position or asking whether something is in position or not. So these, these two are example of possession which in which this has verb is the verb use of the third kind that is has verb. Now let us see one example here. We have a break at 10 a.m. Means 10 baje hamay break milti hai. Ye milti hai, ye position ko soup mili hai. Ye position hai in a way of having an event offering every day. Like you have lunch every day at 9.30 a.m. in your school. Then that is a type of event that you have every day. Since it is being happy in every 
get that is why in here we have used have verb falling under the category of event now coming to the third and fourth uh, that is i am having lunch with mary i am having lunch with mary i am having i am taking in lunch and also it is a type of experience i am having i am possessing being with mary also in the second sentence which is in the form of again an interrogative sentence do you have an ice cream in london since we are asking whether you are having a nice time in london so did you have a nice time in london means what was your experience going to london so these two sentences again is showing experience in which have verb is used using ing form and simple form which is a part of have verb okay so students it is very very clear that have verbs are having only three or four forms of verb which are used depending upon the tense as well as the person and it shows the position as well as the event and experiences also so while you will be making sentences on your own you should keep these type of points in your mind that which tense i am using which type of action or being or position i am sharing and accordingly you will use the different kinds of verbs depending upon its function that is be verb which is the existence and being action verb which shows the action or doing of something some verb by the subject and have verb which shows the position even the experience so students we have studied about the verb which shows uh, the action position and the existence and it is the most important part of speech because without the verb a sentence cannot be created and that is why we have learned about the three different types or kinds of sentence uh, verb depending upon its function that is the uh, action verb that is also called as main or principal verb b verb that shows the existence and the have verb that shows position even as experiences and these two b verb and have verb fall under the category of helping verb and auxiliary verb